Yeah, welcome to this week's show with me, Blake Sampson, and what? and and this guy, this guy, Martin Ashton, and and this guy. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. oh Jesus! God. Look at that! <laughs> and Jack Harvey, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to this week's show. Yeah, we're going to be talking about all those extreme mountain biking moments. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, we've got lots coming, including looking at this 50 grand bike. 50 grand. It's Eric Clapton's Supreme Brooklyn Machine Works. Is any bike worth that money? Um, we've also got Jack Carvey here, World Trials Champion, no less. Plus, we've got a sneak peek at Antidote's new bike, mm -hmm. and we'll be looking at some other things we really liked, including this amazing climb from Wind Masters. Cool, that looks good, doesn't it? it does. Let's get stuck in, Mr. Ashton. Let's have it. Yes, welcome to this week's show where we are talking extreme mountain biking, the most extreme mountain biking, and we've got a legit legend in to help us, Jack Carvey, multiple world trials champion. You're getting being fed up with being bigged up today, aren't you? Cool, nine times world champion. Big. I won't fit out with Dawson, so. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, amazing, it's great to have you. We've been out riding with Jack, it was bonkers. Cool. Uh, uh, he, yeah. just, he just canceled Buff. He did. He's done a lot. He's done a lot. It's definitely the best sport. Trials is the best sport. That's it. But we're going to talk about extreme mountain bike riding today. Uh, we're going to use some of your skills, Jack, to tell us about that and how mountain biking has advanced over the years and how is any of this stuff really even possible. So I guess let's start with the trials, right? Let's start with trials. Trials, back in my day, was still... Ex people thought it was extreme. But I've just been out with you. I didn't recognise some of that stuff you were doing. And I'm a trials rider. How how do these sports advance so much I over think, time? I think it just um, advances over mistakes. Actually, to be honest, I think you actually do mistakes. Some like like the the hook up what you were talking about. Yeah, and so you that's hang on the wall. Yeah, it's like pro you probably started doing that from not not getting up from it. not getting up from failing yes. so yeah. for the viewers out there what what is a hook up is that, cause I so don't... it's like if that's like the wall yeah like a hook a hook up is actually like that's the bike yeah you hit and go up okay but like now we actually a lot of the time hang on the wall with that's your so front wheel yeah, like hook over the just hang there. like a hook yeah. Yeah. but here's the bit that's advanced yeah you've yeah. learned to go from the hang to back to up. to up so now you don't you don't have wow. to do it in one move, you can do it in two moves. So you could climb this wall. Yeah, pretty much and hang as long as there's a ledge on the top. Top you can hang like, like that or yeah. like that. You can so, hang on. Oh, that's extreme that is, isn't it? That is insane, isn't it? And that's an example. That's how the sports progress. Like I think you're right. You make mistakes, but through the mistakes you learn of like, oh actually, if I did if I just could get from here, then <laughs> Yeah. But but in other kinds of mountain biking, say like I've noticed in the sort of stuff you'll do. Sometimes that's that, a mistake. That, Back back in the early days of mountain biking, I only just got that, that was good. Um, back in the early days of mountain biking, like to ride off a big drop was was a huge undertaking. Oh well, yeah. But you've been to events where there's like I've seen on some videos like ten meter drops into a downslope. Well you look at rampage, that's extreme. Like those drops are humongous. But then you get slope style jumps where you're actually doing stunts off a mm. drop. And they're ten meters. How how have you, where have you seen the biggest um, changes in the extremity of what you're doing? Like, is it the distance in jumps? Is it like some? I don't know. You're probably like me, Jack. If you do a jump, a, a big jump for me is from here to the camp. Yeah, for me, <laughs> like, <I'm... laughs> trials riders. But like to you, like a hundred feet. Well, it all depends. Like if it's fest series, those jumps are massive. They're like hundred foot plus, and you're hitting them at super speeds. But then you get like slope style and that. That's like an amalgamation of the course getting bigger, the drops getting bigger, but then the tricks getting a lot bigger. So you need a little bit more air and time to, to execute these tricks. And that's where it gets way more extreme. I mean, it's crazy how it progresses because actually in the trial thing, I can kind of understand it. Okay, you break the move down. Yeah. Mm. But kind of on the big stuff, this you're like, well... more nuts. Yeah. yeah. For me, when I watch, like, trials is getting more precision but your sport is like getting more nuts yeah like for me it's, it's crazy like I, I don't know how you mm. could do it how you could just go for it you know yeah. it's bad. the best thing i like it's about that is the way you say nuts <laughs> nuts nuts <laughs> nuts <laughs> <laughs> um, i mean it's really interesting to think about how 
it has progressed mm. and where it's going, but where is it going? Like, are, are you going to be, how high can, how high a thing can trials riders go up? Where's it going to end? I said we were near the limit ages ago, and then, yeah. and then like this year, I was like shocked because I have improved again. Improved again. Yeah, but yeah. I think it's going to get to a physical point where you can't physically get stronger to jump more, but yeah. you can maybe use more technique and mm. things like that. Yeah. yeah. So what's like? How high are you going up now? If you had to like say a vertical pedal, yeah. like pedaling at something, yeah. Like two, you can do nearly three meters to to stop. To, to stop on two what? and a half meters, something like that. <laughs> but like to, three to keep moving, yeah, like two meters thirty. Meters. That is insane. <laughs> that that is insane. Like we watched him, we watched you out on the streets, and we were like, nah, go from there. And you just what what affected me <laughs> most is what you were looking at as a potential idea. Quite yeah. polished. I wouldn't even fathom Whoa. doing that. Oh, I would look at that and go, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'd eat my sandwich and love to ride. Yeah, like there's stuff now what's possible because yeah. of this position. Yeah. It's opened up a whole, whole new yeah. game to it, you know. So he can get. he's going to be able to get up three metres soon. Mm -hmm. how, how far are you going to be able to jump? I'm going to stick with 100. 100? So. Well, what I was thinking is why don't we find out? Well, why don't we just see how far we can jump you? Like, you know, when back in the, when I was a kid, you could buy this toy, because it was an evil can evil toy. Yeah, yeah. And you go, and send it. <laughs> and you see how far I can, why don't we do that with you? Yeah, yeah, no. Let's send Blake to the moon. Um, right, let us know in the comment section down below what you think is, maybe what the most extreme stuff you're seeing on Mountain Viking is. Are you seeing Jack Harvey out there? And you're checking his riding out. If you would like to hear more from Jack, we had a really, really fun podcast earlier on. We talked a lot of trials, but we got into e-biking, all sorts of stuff. Um, just a little teaser, here's a little clip for you. But there's this big, powerful social influencers, which is essentially what they are, trials riders, and everybody knows who they are. And I'd never say it were a bad thing because mm. it's done so well for the sport. Yeah. And not even for the sport, for cycling. In, for cycling. In, I don't, Literally yeah. the broad, the yeah. broadest in the broadest term for but cycling. As for me for sure. personally, yeah. it definitely wasn't a good thing for me, really. No. It didn't make any sense for me. No. Well, well it's not my thing, but um, it definitely darkened what I've achieved. Yeah. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. 100%. So the link to that is in the description down below. So there's lots more to hear from Jack. You're gonna stick with us for the rest yeah, of the show. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna get going, but first let's check out the news and sickest thing of the week with Tom and Toff. What's up everyone? I'm back from my holidays to bring you more mountain bike news. Either I've grown or these chairs have got smaller. Let's start off with the big one now, the Lord's Downhill. No snow as vast areas the internet was concerned about. Instead, we were treated to one of the best season openers that I can remember with tight racing in all categories. Jackson Goldstone and Gracie Hemstreet started their seasons out the right way with wins and healthy margins in the juniors. Camille Balanche put on a masterclass of speed and control, taking the win by 0.6 seconds ahead of Miriam Nicole, who actually got wild a few times, and one second up on Tani Seagrave. In the men's race, it was a wild Armory Pierron who almost crashed in the first third of his run, but absolutely nailed everything else to take the win. Definitely a track that's incredibly hard to do everything perfectly on if you're pushing on. Finn Isles beat teammate Loic Bruni to the punch for second place as well. Brett Reader's new frame sponsor has finally been revealed. Counter to Toff's conspiracy theory that Brett would be riding his own frames designed under his title components brand, in fact, the reality is that he's joining the Commensal Bikes roster for a minimum of two years also settling on Olin's suspension after a year without a suspension sponsor. Antidote Bikes have shared a few images of their new short travel trail bike, the Woodsprite, which is a great name for a bike. Well into that. It shares the same striking silhouette as the Carbon Jack with the shock behind the seat tube and 135 mils of travel. No further details from the brand right now, but it looks pretty ready to go, so we're sure we'll see an official press release coming sometime soon. More good news from DM Bins. Developing mountain biking in Scotland now. A £750,000 investment to build a new trail centre in Aberdeenshire with construction beginning as early this week has been confirmed. Right, let's get over to Toff for the sickest thing of the week. Right, this week's sickest thing has to be this new video from 3 Dumb and Cannondale. I actually don't even know where to start with this one. So let's start with the building. I mean, the building is absolutely ridiculous. Like the concept and just the spade work is immaculate with that stonework from a guy called JP Sculpt. If you haven't heard of him, check him out. 
like producing some really sick stuff. But hey, that's one of the sick things about freestyle, right? You can just do whatever you like, and that's what makes it sick. I mean, there's some clips in here that I absolutely hate that you might love, and there's other clips that you hate, which I love. I mean, it's like art at the end of the day. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I still don't really know what I think about Max's riding. I mean, he's still a really good rider, knows how to square off a corner, and that 360 nose bonk is like so good. But at the same time, I don't understand why he's always gonna do something with like a skateboard. Personally, I'm really not into that like skateboard bomb drop he does, but oh my God, the top side tire slide on that huge hitching post is absolutely like one of the sickest things I've ever seen. I love that he's always doing his own thing, just keeping it 100% freestyle. There's so many riders now, just like genetic robots trying to fit like a weird mold. And I think that sucks. Like he's super creative and this is a super sick video. It's definitely worth checking out. Right, that's my sickest thing this week. Time to go back to the shed. Thank you guys, that was wicked. That was wicked, but yeah. what is more wicked is competition time from Danies. Oh. oh yeah, we've got some great stuff to give away now. The HGR outfit, <sighs> which is their pants, the jacket, and the jersey. And not to forget their most protective knee pad, the Rival Pro, and <laughs> their new open face lid. <gasps> right, so if that sounds at all interesting, why wouldn't it? Um, head down to the description. We've got lots there for you today. Hit the link for the comp and you could be winning that stuff. Jack, do you ever make any mistakes on your bike? No, a lot. A lot. <laughs> Can he we, says he made to mistakes. To make us feel a little bit better, right, let's just have a look, look at, at Jack having a couple of moments where it doesn't go right, because that'll make us, there you go. Look, see, he doesn't get it right all the time. Perfect, that's what we needed to see, right? Now that's gonna make everyone coming up feel much better, Blake. Right. Because it's time to take a look at a few fails and Oh, yes. Come mm. on. Hack and bodge time, probably one of my favorites. Not the favorite, but one of my favorites. But we're gonna give away one of these. Oh, race yeah. jersey, not this one. Not this one, this is my one. Um, race top time, yeah. Okay, starting off this week, um, check this one out, guys. Oh my God. From George. Look this it. is his Trek Slash. I love this. I, quite I love like it. it. Yeah. I think it's such a creative idea. But you're a Coca Cola fan. I do like a Diet Coke, and but I just think it literally looks like a Coke bottle, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Red full, on red. Yeah. I've never seen that before. The black liquid. I've I like never it. seen that before. It's such a good idea. And it's just a sticker. So Is clever. It? I want to see. Did it take it off a Coke bottle? It gotta be. Yeah. Gotta be. That seems like. But the look at this thing next one. I'm a fan of this one, right? So he's got made. One. You got one of these. I got one. Yeah. So he said the kids ride shotguns quite expensive, so he thought he'd make one out of wood. And I what have you got, Jay? You got kids ride shotgun. Kids ride shotgun. Yeah, yeah, I got kids ride shotgun. That I I think that looks really nice. It looks good. It's a good it's a good build. It's quite a lot. But it's, it's on an nice e-bike, build. which is the best bike to carry your kids on. Is it? Oh, that's the one. Yeah. On the e-bike, right? On the e-bike. I had it on a normal bike. And, oh, uh, no. It's really hard. There's no, no fun in it. No, there's no fun. <laughs> there's no you want it to be fun. There's no fun so in it. So, Adam in uh, Ireland, that is a good kids ride shotgun I like. And last Oh, one. my God. What is that? Unicycles. <laughs> we were talking, talking about unicycles. That? Yeah, well, we've been watching these silly, crazy unicyclists going down mountain bike trails on their weird... They are nuts. But look at this That's one. Extreme. This one's got suspension. I don't look, think it's it works. A set Do you reckon it works? Yeah, well, it must do. Why not? Why wouldn't it? It's This is from David in Italy, um, and he's built this unicycle out of an old pair of mountain bike shocks. <laughs> this is pretty sick, actually. That's bodge, man. Although, oh, I don't know about... I'm just not sure about... You're not into it, Jack? You're not into it? It's cool. No, it's cool. It's cool. Really I, cool. I, I'm trying to talk. I think I've got a new career for him, see? <laughs> well, you're going to start unicycling. He's going to start. He's going pro. He's going pro. Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. He's pushing Isn't me Ryan Leach a pro on one of them? Is he? I don't know. <laughs> Someone's well, a pro on one of them. What we need to do is pick a best hack and bodger, get in the GMBN race stop. There's only one other way to get these. And it will be Adam with the Kids Right Shotgun homemade one, I reckon. You've decided? I think so. Oh, all right, all what right. Well, okay. Yeah, no, it's good. It's a good winner. It's a good winner. Well done, Adam. You're getting yourself a GMBN top. Now I know you're all crying out there because you didn't win the GMBN top, but you know what you can do. Sorry. You know what you can do. You can head on over to the GMBN shop. Ooh. We've got our own shop. Don't want to go on about it. We've got a shop. Yeah. 
Where you Online. can get all of the GMBA merch, right? And I'm not kidding. This, like, supporting us on the channel through that means is a way of getting us out there making videos. We really appreciate it. There's nothing cooler than going out on a train and seeing someone else oh, in a GMB and top. It makes you feel like you're part of a great big crew. I love it. So head on over to the shop if you'd like to get yourself one of these two or come up with a really great hack and bodge for next week. Check this book out, lads. Oh. This is Full Metal. This is a book made by Nikolai Bikes, right? Um, I'm actually in it, but Are that's you? not the reason I got it, right? It's really cool, because it's like an unboxing experience for a book, right? Size so you've of got it. this amazing book, then inside you've got a sticker set, and you've got a pen, and then you've got your own little pads to basically mark your own chapters, because it hasn't got a start or a finish. It's just got info. Look at this, glorious. Look at oh, that. that. My lit and the random tandem is in here, dude. Is it? Yeah. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Who's your monkey on the back? I think it might be yourself. Stephen. I think it might be yourself. But that, I got in the post and I just wanted to show you guys because it's blooming lovely. That is an ugly. I'm going to keep this in the set. It's very nice, but might very luxurious. Um, you know else I noticed got one of those? Who do you think got one of those in the post? I think Doddy got Doddy one. Doddy got, Doddy got one. one. <laughs> Doddy always Doddy. Doddy. Got I want to use this opportunity to play because Jack's here, right? <laughs> oh. You know, we've got that thing called the Global Bike Festival. Oh, yes. That's coming up. That's where we've got Chris Acrid coming. Yeah. Hanging He's out gonna with be us. There. He's yeah. going to be there. Uh, Tom Gardy's going to be there. And his girlfriend. Yeah. And, we, and we're all going to be there. GMBN, EMBN, GCN. What about Jack Carvey? Yeah. Jack Carvey could come. You could come. I'd, we could I'd have come. Yeah. a match. There's a ticket waiting for you. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Well, I tell you what, right? I'm going to seriously look into that. If I can, if I can get it into his schedule, we're also going to have Jack there. But the the Global Bike Festival is going to be. I'm getting overly excited. About you it. are very excited. I'm getting about very it. excited about it because we've got DJs. We're going to do the Dirt Shed Show live, and we might even have multiple World Trials champion there too. Nine times. If I can jam it into his schedule. You never know. <laughs> the Global Bike Festival is happening. So if you want to get your ticket, head on over to theglobalbikefestival.com. And you can get one. Time for Captain Contest. Look at this. Look at photo. Show, show Jack this photo. Look at this photo. Look, Doddy and his bigger brother. Look at him. <laughs> About the same, isn't it? <laughs> Poor Doddy. <laughs> Poor Doddy. <laughs> uh, I think it's unfair this photo I because think... <laughs> he's actually a handsome man. But we're always taking the mick out of his funny shaped face. But well, no, he I mean? took the he took the mick out of his own face. There, he stood in front of it. Yeah, I know, but where did he find that little guy to stand with him? <laughs> oh, that guy. <laughs> right, let's look at what captions we've got for it. Right, first up, we've got Stuart Dickens, and he says, oh, God, chin up, Doddy, a fine pair of hooters, and he really knows his tech. <laughs> the chin up bit's cruel. The chin up, what chin up? What, what chin <laughs> Wow! Wow! Oh, sorry. Did you really go there? I was there? thinking, what? Like, I was thinking, what, what, what chin are you talking about? What chin? You <laughs> was thinking, what chin? Oh. Wow. There's that one. What's the next one, Blake? <laughs> Rupert, I'll do it. Rupert Wen says, Doddy meets his shorter denim glad brother. That's what I was saying, yeah. That's a good one. And Chris Pike, he says, Doddy knows when he's met his man. Oh man. Doddy knows. <laughs> oh, don't. Doddy knows. Oh, poor when Doddy. Oh, Doddy, I feel awful. If you're watching this, I apologise. I didn't choose that photo. And I think, I. I think you look wicked. So I don't really understand this. But anyway, we've got to pick a winner and give a mug. A mug to the winner, which is is fun, really, because Who's this is all about mugs. That mug will do. Give them that mug. There we go. <laughs> right. <laughs> this mug is going to the winner. I'm going to let Jack pick his favourite. Which I one would you he's like? Got to be Stuart, hasn't it? Stuart, you have won yourself a mug. Come in your way. So, if you would like to win yourself a stunt mug like this one. Oh, Felix. Rude. Why did you say Then, that? please give us your caption to this photo this week. Oh, that's a credit. That's a cracker. It's a good one, that one. Yeah. yeah, give us your captions for that photo and we will see 
<laughs> what you've got next week. Good luck. Right, let's check out some things we liked this week. Um, Bingers, do you mind if I go first? You can go first. Check out this, right. I'm a bit perplexed by this, right? Okay, so it's a 50 grand bike. Mm, yeah, that's a lot that, of money. 50 grand bike. That's a lot uh, of money. And it is a Brooklyn Machine Works 24 inch BMX cruiser, but it's Supreme branded, okay? So right. the brand Supreme have branded this bike, and it was previously owned by Eric Clapton. Previously. But it's not owned by him now. All right. But th it's it's up, look, 50, 50 grand. 50,000 US dollars. It's just some <laughs> the old BMS. <laughs> <laughs> 50 grand? You've got to be joking. No bike uh, is worth that money. And it's 24 inch. What the? Fiddlesticks. Fudge. <laughs> Jesus, that's a I lot of money, it. man. That is a lot of money. Dude, I say I liked it. Turns out I didn't. Help me out of this situation with something great. Well, I actually like this one from Windmasters right. on his Instagram. This one is, I like this a lot because he spawned a slab. You would appreciate this, I think. That is a steep And climb. that's a steep slab, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. He's on an e-bike, I'll give it. That is some grip. It's, oh, oh, from that good. angle, it looks nearly impossible. He's definitely got that in boost. He's doing the hook. <laughs> that is He's doing boost. the hook all the way up. He's hooking all the way. Look at that, uh, when he gets to the top, just celebrates oh, yeah, with a big his, nose manual. Right right over in Portugal, Windmasters okay, looking down amazing. Down it well. Even down it. Windmasters, that can't go wrong. Awesome. That boy's he always got wins, style. It's a busy looking week. Blake, what are you looking forward to most? I'm looking forward to this bike that I've upgraded from Amazon. <laughs> and I went racing on it. <laughs> You're looking forward to seeing it, you weren't looking forward to doing I it. I wasn't looking forward, to, I was looking forward to getting it off at, at the end of the day. <laughs> it's going to be a really good video. <laughs> yeah. All Blake has done is say about how hard this was. It was horrible. Yeah, okay, so the Amazon, the Amazon bike is going racing. So check that one out. Um, I'm also going to be looking at, I need to look at this one, how you've been jumping wrong. Oh, yeah, I've mm -hmm. never been jumping right. <laughs> Have Ever. You? We're trials riders, we don't jump right. <laughs> it's front high or nothing. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to be checking that one out. But it's a very busy week on GMBN, so make sure you stick with us this week and catch your favourite videos. Right, let's take a look. First bike up is from Daniel, and it's his Cross Moon. What do we that. think, guys? It's a nice shot, isn't it? It's a great it's a shot. Nice, it's a really nice shot. It's like out of focus, but then like, the discs in focus, and it's non-drive side, so... Well, it's, I guess, yeah, so it can't be super nice if it's non-drive side. What do you Jack, think? what are you feeling? Feeling it? Ooh. Ooh. It's got some long valves on it. <laughs> um, Daniel, it's nice. Nice. It's definitely yeah. nice. Next up, we've got uh, Rolf's Radon Slide. This is in Zurich in Switzerland. Uh, I like the colours. Nice. I like the colourways. like the grips. Nice ergon them. grips. Yeah. They, I've heard they're very comfortable. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, good. Good. it's cool with the rims as well, how yeah. they Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, uh, nice. It's very it's clean. Another nice, another nice, all right. Next up Ooh, we've got... Is, whoa. is that a giant? No, Specialized hey, Stump this is Jumper. Wolchek's um, Specialized Stump Jumper, and this is a custom paint job, this one. Ah. Look at that. Now, now, Rich did ask for some custom paint jobs last week, so, hey. so I think just for the fact they've got involved, Wolchek should get... Uh, how do you say it? Wolchek? Guys, Germany, Germany, speak to Wals me. Walczek. Walczek. I said it right. Pretty cool. I can Wals speak German. Did you know? It? No. <laughs> Name. Amazing. Name. Um, nice. Super nice. <laughs> super. <laughs> super nice from Walczek. Um, right, next up, this isn't a bike. What is that doing in the I'll put this in there, right, because it's a really cool custom helmet. It's, right. It's custom. So Rich asked for custom. I know it's not a bike, but I saw it. Ben's done it. Um, over in Wodonga in Australia, and it's a hand painted helmet for his son. I just thought it was flipping good. Yeah, no, super can nice. I, yeah. Can I, can Wait, I give super nice uh, for helmets? For Did he do it himself? That's, that's penciled on. Oh, that's good. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. I wish I could do a helmet that good. I, I, really, yeah. I actually definitely can't. I'm, trying, <laughs> I'm currently trying. Um, right, next up, bike wise, is from Lassie. Nice. In, uh, where are we here? This is in Switzerland. Wow. Tamil tyres, that's a mistake. 
<laughs> really? I like tan wool tyres as a hardtail in the Oh, cool. do you like tan wool tyres, Jack? You're world champion. I'm not, I'm not a massive You're fan of it, but with that bike, it does look pretty cool. There you go. Because it's all black. See, forget it. it. Super forget nice. It. Next yeah. bike up is oh, look from Xander. It's a Cannondale 2022 Jekyll. It's a beauty. It's a Cannondale. It's super nice. I, I like that shot. Love Cannon. That's a good shot. Um, next up, uh, oh, look at this. This is old school. Oh, this is yeah. a Kona 2007 Stinky. Stinky from James. It looks pretty cool with a kind of modern number plate on it. Yeah, and the gold <laughs> that, stuff. That, that, looks, that sort of really brings it up to date, doesn't it? <laughs> and old, it's got Halo SS's. That's like. Yeah, he's got it's got all... slope like a free rider's dream back. It's like old school, but new school. Yeah. It's got old tyres on it. And it's like Andrea Lachandecki. All over. 2007, you were what? Three years old then, Jack? Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> three <Yeah>. years old. <laughs> I want to tell you, he's got nine world championships and he's 16. 25. 25? <laughs> How, it doesn't add up, does it's it? has been How working hard. <laughs> yeah. right, next up, <laughs> oh, classic, yeah. classic. Come on. You've got to shake it. You, gotta shake you, it. Wanna, you can shake it. I'll Leon, shake it. your 1998 GT that Tempest is, is super nice. The world champion said so. So there we go, it's the end of the show. Jack, thank you so much for coming along. It's been ace. I've been in my element. You have. Talking You've been Charles. like a giddy we have child. so much. Charles, it's been so great. Um, but thanks for coming along, man. No, I don't Thank really. you very much. No, I don't really. um, Bingers, thanks again for finding some time. Because you're busy with that van, right? I'm busy with that van. It's getting yeah. on me now. Yeah, definitely. Um, and thank you guys for watching. If you'd uh, give us a love, like, and share out there on the social channels, we'd really appreciate it. Don't forget, Global Bike Festival. Head over to that in the link. Also, you can find the link to mine and Jack's podcast, which was a lot of fun. So give that a listen. But until next time, See ya. it's bye from us. <laughs>